so it is Sunday, the uh, 10th of uh, September, 2017. I'm in front of the Unitarian Church of Montreal. I'm just uh, starting up my, well, I shouldn't say starting up because I'm well into it, but uh, restarting my uh, alternative spiritual practice of protesting against uh, Unitarian Universalist uh, clergy abuse and other Unitarian Universalist uh, injustices, abuses, and uh, hypocrisy. Happy anniversary, David! <laughs> this is David Horan, who a year ago assaulted me uh, as I was uh, basically engaged in my little protest. David was uh, erasing a chalk slogan right about where this one is with water, and uh, I uh, verbally confronted him about his uh, complicity in uh, Unitarian Universalist uh, cover-up and denial of sexual abuse of children. Um, yeah, I'm glad that that's, that's what this uh, particular, because they, they do change, you know, they, they, they do vary somewhat, but, but yes, uh, I can't remember what the slogan that he was erasing a year ago said, but, uh, you know, they were essentially about, you know, in particular, Unitarian Universalists engaging in cover-up and denial of not just, you know, run-of-the-mill clergy sexual misconduct, uh, but specifically sexual abuse of children by Unitarian Universalist ministers. And, you know, so I confronted uh, David uh, verbally about uh, his... Uh, being involved in that because when he's erasing my chalk slogans, well, he's helping to hide it. And uh, he uh, got, you know, verbally abusive with me, which is typical for, for David. And uh, so we had a little chat. Then he walked away. And as he walked away, he was like, I don't know, 30, 40 feet away from me. I just, uh, one more time, uh, confronted him uh, about his willful ignorance and he got very very upset with me you know accusing him of willful ignorance and basically came charging at me and so I just sort of backed off you know walking backwards with the camera running um, and had a nice little you know <laughs> philosophical discussion with uh, a very physically intimidating uh, David Horan. So that was a year ago, almost to today. Uh, it was actually Sunday, September 11th last year. Today's the 10th, so 364 days. Um, so yeah, close enough for me to wish David a happy anniversary uh, of making a total fool of himself. And uh, so far, luckily, not being a viral video, although he's certainly got a few hundred uh, views of him behaving like a you asterisk you. So anyhow, let's continue to circulate here. We were pretty well done for today, but uh, I'm glad David came out and saw the signs and uh, I was able to remind him of his uh, foolish behavior of one year ago, almost to today. So uh, yeah, Water Communion of 2016. <clears throat> Anyhow, let's continue to uh, circulate. You got some people in the cars looking at the signs. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely a lot of uh, traffic for uh, Sunday, and I'm quite sure it's because of construction on the Turcotte interchange. I'm pretty sure that these cars are redirected from the Highway 20 or choosing a different route to avoid uh, complications caused by construction. So hey, the more cars that see these picket signs and maybe chalk slogans, uh, the better as far as I'm concerned. Oh,
Yeah, definitely uh, quite quiet, uh, other than the cars. But, uh, I think we're going to wrap this up soon. Had a little uh, verbal uh, tussle with a guy coming out of the church earlier. And I'm not sure to what extent it was uh, recorded. I think it was recorded, but at some point I think uh, the camera, well, the camera definitely did shut off at some point. And I don't know whether our little verbal altercation was, uh, was recorded or not. So I'll basically repeat what happened. Uh, this guy come out of the church and as he passed me, he said, you know, I can't agree with you. Um, and I was a little bit rude and said, well, that's because you have your head up your ass. Um, and yes, that is rude. It's a rude way of saying you're burying your head in the sand. Um, but I use that term specifically because when Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein uh, described a Republican state senator as a crazy asshat and also uh, basically uh, said some other rude things about the guy and even some obscene and sadistic things, um, but specifically, you know, because the Unitarian Universalist Association has said, oh, it's, it's quite all right for uh, Reverend Weinstein to uh, call uh, Senator Bill Napoli a crazy asshat. So since, since the UUA and its Ministerial Fellowship Committee uh, pretty well approved the use of the term asshat, by Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein and thus by extension every other Unitarian Universalist minister because I, I don't see why Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein should have any special privileges in terms of calling people asshats. Um, I have allowed myself to use that term or similar terms, you know, such as you have your head up your ass, sir. So he didn't like that very much and said, if you say that one more time, and of course I said it two or three times just to see what would happen. <laughs> of course nothing happened. Um, you know, I mean, he could have got violent, I suppose, and just made a bigger fool of himself. Um, so yeah, I just rubbed his face in it a bit, um, <clears throat> just accepting his challenge to uh, say it one more time by saying it at least two times, maybe three times. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that was fully recorded, and I'm hoping that most, if not, uh, well, most of my subsequent uh, monologue arising out of that was also recorded, but I do know that when I looked at my camera later, it was black uh, screen, so it had shut off at some point. Um, so again, really hoping that that was actually recorded, but if it wasn't, that's the uh, synopsis. And yes, you know, one of the uh, tactics I use is to throw back at Unitarian Universalists uh, words that uh, they use themselves. Uh, so uh, basically saying, well, if, if you're allowed to say this about me and or other people, then I guess I'm allowed to say it about you when it's appropriate. Um, for instance, there's something called the Robin Edgar Sucks blog. And so I figured, well, you know, since Unitarian Universalists and most likely Unitarian Universalist clergy can title a blog Robin Edgar Sucks, blo uh, Robin Edgar Sucks, um, I think, you know, that it's fair for me to say Unitarian clergy abuse sucks and so on. You know, so I don't mind using the sucks word. I never actually used it prior to Unitarian Universalists saying I suck. But uh, since they decided that this was acceptable, I said, well, you know, justice. So what's that second word? Oh, equity, equity, same, equal treatment. Well, guess what? I'm using the sucks word now, you Unitarian Universalist, you use. And I hope you don't mind too much. But uh, since you, uh, oh, here comes uh, Juan Vera. Yes, sir, he's been around a while. You know, just studiously avoiding seeing the picket signs. 
so he's going to have a hard time avoiding the chalk slogan up ahead there, though. So, uh, <laughs> I'm sure he won't look down to see what it says, but, yeah. Anyhow, let's see what uh, Juan Vera just walked over without really uh, paying any attention to. Unitarians cover up in the nice section of abuse of children. Well done, Juan Vera, for ignoring that. And, you know, Juan's been ignoring this protest for years, if not decades. And it hasn't always spoken so openly about sexual abuse of children, but it's certainly spoken very openly about clergy abuse more generally, which includes sexual abuse of children. Um, so, yeah, I guess we could describe uh, Juan Vera as an asshat. We could describe Juan Vera as someone who has his head up his ass. Um, and I think I will. I think uh, Juan Vera is one of the more willfully ignorant uh, Montreal Unitarians. Uh, he's wallowing in psychological denial as much as anyone else is, from what I can see. I haven't seen uh, Juan Vera speak out against any of the injustices and abuses and hypocrisy that I'm protesting against. So yeah, he's uh, he's an asshat too. Yeah, Juan Vera's an asshat. I don't mind using that term to describe Juan Vera. Don't mind saying Juan Vera has his head up his ass. I mean, if uh, Unitarian Universalists can use those terms to describe me and other people, well, then I guess uh, I can return the favor. It's only equitable. And I do believe it's just, because I actually believe I'm much more justified in describing Juan Vera as an asshat than uh, people are in some of their accusations about yours truly. So. one but anyhow yeah, I think we're gonna wrap this up soon I think we've had quite a successful protest during the uh, first uh, Sunday of the church year water communion incoming Sunday they also call it um, at the Unitarian Church of Montreal I think we've had quite a good little protest today and I'm very happy with uh, how it went down today So let's uh, just have another look at this slogan here. Speak out against UU child abuse on Purple Friday. So uh, just to repeat, Purple Friday is an event that a uh, British victim of child sex abuse is promoting and he essentially wants people to wear purple next Friday, that's Friday, September 15th, and he wants people to use the hashtag Purple Friday on social media, certainly on Twitter, but it could be used on Facebook and other social media. Uh, and the whole idea is to raise awareness to sexual abuse of children, and of course the issues arising out of that, uh, the uh, you know difficulty for people who have been sexually abused as children to get justice, uh, the cover-up and the denial and the uh, failure of the justice system to uh, ensure that their abusers face uh, accountability. So uh, I'm doing my little bit to uh, raise awareness to sexual abuse of children by Unitarian Universalist clergy and Unitarian Universalist Sunday school teachers and, you know, ordinary Unitarian Universalist uh, lay people. But of course, the accent is on the clergy and on the uh, Sunday school teachers who are guilty of that. Uh, you know, they uh, face a higher level of uh, moral scrutiny than uh, your average run-of-the-mill Unitarian Universalist 
like Richard Buell, the first parish Norwell, who was convicted of uh, the forcible rape of preteen girls who were no older than 12 years old at the times that the uh, rapes took place and could have been as young as six, according to some estimates. Uh, um, but certainly somewhere between nine and 12, you know, according to the uh, information that's available uh, regarding uh, the conviction of uh, Richard Buell of First Parish Norwell on uh, rape charges. Um, anyhow, I've been raising awareness to those cases and also the cover-up and denial of uh, those cases by uh, the Unitarian Universalist Association and Unitarian Universalists more generally for some years now, long before uh, the whole Purple Friday concept came up. But uh, I certainly give all my support to David Lean and anyone else who's uh, exposing these things. Um, and, and not just the abuse itself, but again, the, the cover-up and the denial and the difficulty for victims to get any kind of justice in the criminal justice system. I have to say that uh, you know, the cases that I blogged about were cases where Unitarian Universalists have been charged, tried and convicted and sentenced to jail terms for their sexual abuse of children, although sometimes it was uh, years, you know, into it or years after. Um, but, but nonetheless, you know, they were charged and tried and convicted and sentenced to jail terms and spent some years in jail. One of them's still in jail. One of them died in jail. One of them's uh, released, and I've heard he...